Hello, this video tutorial explains how to customize your widget. Let's go to Widgets tab and find the pencil icon Edit Widget Settings. Now we need to click View Settings, Customize Widget View. Here you will find the tools allowing you to personalize your widget. The most important features are here in Preview section. First of all, we should learn how to edit texts. It's really easy. Just click on the text you want to edit and enter your own content. Please remember to keep selector seconds because this value is loaded automatically from call settings. You can edit the following, the following texts on widget. Main text on pop-up window. You can also edit buttons on the top of pop-up window. Also, as you know, call page widget enables few contact types. User can order a quick callback in 28 seconds, schedule a call for, for later or leave a message. You can edit all those views. Click on the appropriate icon to edit chosen view. Please remember that two views, call me later and leave a message, display also on night mode after your working hours. So you can create two different texts for them. Default text will display during wor working hours and night mode will display after working hours. If you use departments, you can also edit text on this view. Just scroll down a bit uh, click select state and choose departments. By default there is the same text as on call me now view but you can edit it. Since general data protection regulation is already in effect it's good idea to take care of full adaptation of call page widgets to the requirements of the new legal provisions. Click on agreement text on pop-up preview to edit it. You can add the link at the end if you want. Here you should provide the name for the link and below the exact URL to which it redirects. As you can see, agreement consists of two parts. Shortened part, which users see right after pop-up displays and full text of agreement, which they can read after clicking more details. Here you can edit both of them. Furthermore, you can place checkboxes in shortened part. To do that, use selectors checkbox. Here is an example. The part of text between checkbox selectors will be obligatory to your users. Without ticking it, they will not be able to order a call. Okay, let me show you what else you can do in this section. You can upload your own logo and background. You can change the color. As you can see, there are five available colors, but you can also use non-standard color. To do that, use the HTML color code and paste it here. You can choose dark or, or light theme. There is also an opportunity to change the widget language. We offer over 20 different languages. You can display calls and messages stats on your pop-up. It's based on social pr proof. Social proof is psychological and social phenomenon where people assume the actions of others in attempt to reflect correct behavior in a given situation. We display uh, the default number as a placeholder but you can change it if you want. You can enter the number or the text.
you can delete all changes. There is separate reset option for texts only. Please remember to click save after any changes. Next step is button customization. You can place button anywhere on your website using drag and drop. Here you can see the exact button position. This feature is responsible for button displaying. If you switch it on, whole page button will display automatically on your website. Below you can specify the timeout to button display. If auto show is off, only pop-up window will display. Here is advanced tool which enables you triggering call page button display by clicking a pointed element on your website. Below you will find detailed description. Let's take a look at tooltip. Tooltip attracts user's attention. Depending on user's action, it behaves differently. It displays general text to new users and personalized one to users who have left their data on your website. And if the one has already ordered a call via call page, Tooltip behaves like, like one-click call. Of course, you can switch off this option if you are not interested. You can specify the timeout to the Tooltip display as same as for the button. Click the preview to edit the Tooltip texts. Here is general text, which will display to new users. This one is intended to those who have already ordered a call on your website. Note that you can see which part of tooltip you are currently editing by simply clicking on information icon. As always, remember to click save after any changes. The last part of preview section is eyecatcher. There are two possibilities. You can choose eyecatcher from our gallery or upload your own image. After you choose it, you can move it by drag and drop. Okay, that's all for this time. Thank you very much for your attention. In case of any questions, please contact us at support at